So after my uh, PhD uh, degree, I uh, left uh, the college and joined NIST, N-I-S-T. But that time it was called NBS, National Bureau of Standards. And I was a researcher there, and they were very interested in uh, the work that I have done in the uh, university. And uh, I joined there in uh, 1982, in January 1982. Uh, during the time that the, uh, the robotic uh, technology is also a very hot topic in industry. Companies like uh, GM, Pratt & Whitney, and all those companies are very, very hot in, uh, in robotics because they see that a robot is like an arm, okay, and then if you put uh, some visions behind that arm, it's almost like a human eye, and then you have a computer behind, which is almost like a human being brain. So they think that robotic uh, would basically replace a lot of uh, machines, a lot of process, okay, in, in automobile, in the aircraft industry. But unfortunately, uh, very quick, quickly people find that the robotics uh, actually suffered with a lot of issues. For instance, robot is not very accurate, okay, and when they try to put more load at the end, uh, the robot shakes, okay, it's not very, very precise, not very well performed. Uh, so as a result that people uh, are, you know, questioning, you know, what they can do to make the robot to do a better job, okay. That's the time that I envisioned the, the uh, possibility of building a laser tracking system which tracks the end effect of the robot arm, having the information, knowing where it is, knowing the performance of it, using the information to control the robot. Uh, so this idea of using a laser track uh, to track a robot uh, had been, uh, you know, really started as a very, very beginning, and that is the motivation behind me building a laser tracking system. So of course, a laser tracker is a six degree of freedom uh, uh, manipulation. So the first tracker I developed is actually a six degree of freedom laser tracking system. Okay, it started three months after I joined NBS and the idea of uh, developing a laser tracking system for Roebuck uh, was uh, developed. And uh, I talked to my boss and finally I got his support, okay, and I received some funding and uh, went to the Zheng Yang, uh, which is the basement of uh, uh, NBS where they have a lot of uh, those uh, unused uh, to me are goodies, but to them is junks, uh, like lasers, like um, rotary tables and like that. I basically take all those things and then um, and basically rework on those things and then and create a, a basic laser tracking system. And I do, you know, uh, I bought a computer at that time and uh, which uh, used to control the tracking system. And I told my boss that, uh, my boss is uh, Dr. Bob Hawkins, uh, he's very famous. Uh, so Bob uh, really supports me. Um, and I told him that uh, in six months, I will show you a working prototype of a laser tracking system. So I, uh, since then, I, I, I basically uh, stayed in my, uh, in my room, in my, in my lab, okay, building laser tracking systems. Um, and uh, six months later, I went to uh, Bob's office and he was still working late uh, in, in his room. And I said, Bob, why don't you come down uh, to the basement where my lab is? And then, and then he followed me and I showed him the laser tracking system. So he was quite astonished to see the, uh, the concept of the water table being controlled by the, um, by the computer and a laser uh, mount on top of the rotary table and then at a the target, okay, a certain distance away and then as the target moves, okay, they're tracking some tracks. So that night we actually uh, able to show Bob, okay, and uh, the, the, the whole concept of a laser tracking system.